For decades, Cook County's forest preserves have been popular spots for family reunions, fishing, biking, and sledding. But unknown to most visitors, they are also the home of some ancient discoveries. Very few people realize uh, the wealth of archaeological resources that are here. The research compiled from forest preserve archaeological sites tells a story dating back more than 10,000 years. That history yields critical clues about the people who once inhabited the land and how they used it. Here's where we found a projectile point yesterday. That was, uh, would have dated to uh, about 800 yeah, AD. 800. Archaeologically, Cook County is a very exciting place. It's full of all sorts of archaeological sites dating from when the glaciers first receded all the way through to large prehistoric village sites. And then you move into the early historic period and you've got trading posts. You've got places where um, the Europeans first made contact with Native Americans all the way up to World War II where there are prisoner of war camps here in the Forest Preserve. So everything is here. This is the third largest metropolitan area in the United States. Most places like that, those sites would have been destroyed. But because of the Forest Preserve property, they've been preserved. Hey, guys. Hey, Paula. Did you just start this hole, or are you about into it? Our focus um, now is to get boots on the ground, you know, crew out in the field, recording and identifying and documenting site locations. The types of artifacts that we're looking for are usually the remnants of a stone tool technology. And this technology was used for thousands and thousands of years. This little bag is the artifact bag. And if we didn't have this simple technology, none of the things that we'd be doing today would matter because we wouldn't know where we found those artifacts. Preserve officials say if the sites are not protected, then what's hidden in the land could be in danger. But beyond natural threats such as flooding and erosion, looting and even recreation could cause damage. Someone might be riding their bicycle, not on a bike path, but just through the woods or something and have no idea that they're on top of or right next to an important archaeological site. So one of the things that we're helping the forest preserve with is um, protection and preservation. Knowing where the sites are ahead of time, we can help the forest preserve say, you know, let's put this recreational activity over here rather than over here. There's been a complete renewed interest of how important the resource is and how important it is that it's protected.